Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover why we flip the inequality sign when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative. And simply put, we flip the sign to make the inequality true. So we're going to go through a few examples in order to better understand why we flip the inequality sign when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative. So let's jump into number one where we have two is less than five. So we're going to see what happens when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative and compare that to when we multiply or divide both sides by a positive. Let's do negative first and see if the inequality is still true. So two is less than five, but let's multiply both sides by negative one, so a negative number. So two times negative one and five times negative one. And we'll end up with negative two is less than negative five, which is not a true inequality. Negative two is not less than negative five. So we needed to flip the inequality sign to make that true. So for example here, we should have negative two flip the sign negative five. So negative two is greater than negative five. Now that inequality is true. Not flipping the sign, we get an inequality that is not true. And again, this is only if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative. Let's see what happens if we multiply both sides by a positive. So let's multiply both sides by a positive two. And we'll get two times two is four, is less than five times two is 10. So when we multiplied both sides by a positive, the inequality stayed true. It's just when we multiply or divide by negatives that we need to flip that sign. So let's move on to number two where we have a one step inequality that we will need to divide both sides by a negative. So we'll see how that impacts flipping the inequality sign and why we need to. So we have negative two times x is less than eight. And we're going to start by plugging in um, a number that will make this inequality true, so a solution. Let's plug in two here. So two for x, let's pretend uh, x equals two. So negative two times two is negative four and that's less than eight. So we ended up with negative four is less than eight, which is true. Two is a solution to that inequality. Now let's solve this one step inequality to get to the point where we have all the solutions that will be correct for x. So I'm going to rewrite our inequality down here. Negative two x is less than eight. So we need to isolate x, get it by itself, in order to solve this inequality. So we're multiplying x by negative two. We need to do the inverse or opposite. So that would be dividing by negative two. So we need to divide by negative two in order to cancel those uh, negative twos out. Now whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other in order to keep everything balanced. So we need to divide by negative two on the other side as well. So our x is now isolated and we have x is less than negative four. We're not going to flip the sign here. So x is less than negative four. So any number less than negative four would be a solution to that inequality. So let's see, we tested out a solution earlier, this two right here, and it ended up being a solution. Well, is two less than negative four? No, so according to uh, this answer right here, two would not be a correct solution. But earlier, we proved that two was a correct solution. Let's see, uh, plug something else in for x and see if it works. So again, x has to be less than negative four. So let's do negative five. That's less than negative four and see what happens. So negative two times negative five and it has to be less than eight. Well, negative two times negative five gives us a positive 10. Positive 10 is less than eight. Well, that's not true. So that would not be a solution. 
So we needed to flip that inequality sign to make the inequality true. We're actually going to get the opposite of the correct solutions. We're going to get all the incorrect solutions if we were to use this right here and not flip the sign. So let's uh, flip the sign and I'm going to come over to the left in this box here. So we had negative two times X is less than eight. So divide both sides by negative two and we end up with X flip the sign negative four. So X has to be greater than negative four. So that two, which we proved was correct, will now work. Two is greater than negative four. So that gives us all the correct solutions for that inequality. So simply put, again, we flip the sign to make the inequality true. If we don't flip it, we're going to get incorrect solutions, solutions that do not work for the inequality. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.